Hey there, friends and fans, clients, customers, all you good people out there. Um, just a quick video uh, that I've wanted to run for a while for those of you who've um, never read my birth control post on the blog. We'll have to revive that. Uh, but this video is just to remind you about um, birth control and are birth control pills uh, detrimental to your hair growth? So yet yeah, the answer would be yes, just like any of the prescription medications um, that have very clear side effects written in that they'll cause hair thinning because of its, their effects on your organs, birth control pills would be included in that in all forms, uh, many forms, let me not say all forms, many forms of birth control in the form of prescriptions will um, have an affect on your um, your hair growth, whether it be slow grow um, or no grow at all. And then oftentimes hair loss that's experienced from birth control, um, time release rings, uh, Nuvo rings, depo shot to the arms. I've had clients come in, they're like on depo for 10 years. And then even when they got off after they experienced all this extreme hair loss, attributed that hair loss to the depo because um, for as many people I've talked to that actually had those shots, um, the hair starts to fall out for many if you're really sensitive in about a two week time period, you'll see excessive shedding. And as early as just four years ago, I talked to many college students on our um, on my college tours and workshops and those who come in for consultations who also recognize um, hair loss immediately after having gotten this shot. And then they're like, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore because this wasn't happening. I got the shots. Now my hair is all shedding excessively and nothing else changed. Uh, something's not right about this. This includes the sticks that go in the arm. They make the commercial so attractive and oh, it's so empowering and women with their fist up. And yeah, no, it's not. It's not empowering. It's not inspirational. It's not cool and it doesn't make you strong. Um, to have those five sticks or however many sticks that they implant into the arms for birth control. I am not in a position to tell you exactly what to do um, with regards to birth control as options to not having prescriptions that you would wanna to talk to a specialty person about or your holistic wellness counselor, maybe some family, friends, some elder women. Um, about what to do with regards to that. And then those of you who have children who have uh, teens and preteens who are um, coming into their um, their menses, having their cycles, um, their moon, uh, some who have irregular cycles, you wanna check their, their diet, their water intake and, and their foods and see what genetic things may be going on before uh, agreeing to a doctor putting your daughters on birth control. Because now then it starts, um, geez, if they, they start some 13 and 14 year olds off on it, that means you're getting five years, five, yeah, five, six years ahead of this drugs being in the body, throwing off things with the organs, and then hair loss could actually happen sooner. Um, we all thin in the mid 20s. So um, when you're making your decisions about, about this, please um, make some well-informed decisions um, and you know, talk to a talk to a bunch of people. It's not like get a second and third recommendation. It's like 25, 50 people. And, and I, I would even suggest YouTube. At the, I would for this. Um, I did have a client and um, well, she's fine with her story being shared, uh, but I will not use her name who um, had started to have hair loss in the in the crown area. And we've been working really hard, growing in edges and all this work was put in and effort put forth and consistency and frequency and following regimens. And then this middle part started to thin and drop. And I'm like, what's going on here? Does something change with your diet? You know, th this is, you know, different. And then she says, well, uh, nothing's different, nothing's different. And then a while, and she's like scratching her head. She's like, well, I did get this ring three months. So three months, it was in her body. And that, um, that prescription, that ring, um, starts to, to take her hair out. 
I said, you know what? I can't tell you what to do, but we know we've talked about prescriptions. And I said, this counts as a prescription. You may not process it that way, which she totally did not um, process that it's a prescription. Just like many of you have not processed that um, alcohol dehydrates the body and dehydration also leads to hair loss and less soft hair. If you are prone to um, having a few drinks, um, alcohol does dry out the body and the organs and then dehydrated bodies don't manifest hair so well. Okay, I digress, but I'm gonna go back to the, the hair thinning. So I said, look, I need you to do some research, check things out and, and see if there's anybody else online talking about the loss from this, not how great it, it is having and how easy it was to have it installed and everything, but like look for the, the negative reviews, you know? And then she found a, a pool, a group of women on YouTube who actually were running videos about the horrible feelings that they had in their bodies um, from the ring and, and uh, the weight gain, the excessive weight gain and the weight that they could not get off. This is before the pandemic anyway, because now that's just a challenge for everybody. Um, and then also hair loss, uh, a lot of hair loss shedding and losing the hair in this crown area. And I did the brain research on it, so it all um, correlated. And, you know, then the decision was made to remove the ring. What happens when the ring removed? Within 30 days, I kid you not, that thinning hair that was starting to thin and like disappear on us started to grow back in thicker. That was the first time ever in my career in hair, scalp and hair care, and I've had pretty a long, pretty long career in that and other careers as well, but always doing hair throughout the other careers. Uh, first time ever where I had someone in front of me where I'm watching them grow and we're pouring in and, and watering and doing all this work and it's it's in tandem that actually then implemented a prescription uh, the birth control and began to lose lose hair so it was like wow you know I've had people come in and they've already had and they're like well what's going on I started this and this happened or I've been on this for 10 years and I heard can you confirm that for me what does that mean um but I I, I experienced it and then I experienced when she stopped all the hair growing back in it was like amazing so um just keep that in mind when you are considering your contracept your contraceptives and your hair loss. So is are your birth control pills taking out your hair or other forms of birth control? Very likely um, that could be detrimental to, uh, to you. And I would suggest, um, again, consulting with some elders and other folks on um, options and alternatives. As always, love yourself more. Grow hair, grow. Clear skin, clear. Glow lips, glow. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.